Hello, I have returned, and it is time to put together a team to get our butts out to the cove, and through the cove, and out of the cove on the other side, or something like that. <laughs> but yes, I, I definitely want this raid plan uh, for future endeavors with the Butcher. So we're going to have to go on a long mission to the cove. But the question is, who to take? Who's good in the cove? Who is also still either level four, three or level four? Uh, well, Musident, maybe? Got a fear of mankind. Probably would find fewer of them in the cove. I mean, lepers don't have very much armor piercing, but... Yeah, let's let's uh, let's take Musident as our tank. Why not? Uh, let's see. What else have we got? We could bring along. Oh no, you're a cove-phobe. Nope, Tukleev is not coming along. Uh, the grave robbers are a bit high level or higher level than I want to. Uh, what about a soothsayer? Pious and scientific. Just balances right out, huh? Okay. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's let's take a long baron. We'll pop her right in there. Uh, Illers, how do you... Oh, you have a fear of the Eldritch. I really need to do something about that. Makes you very not useful. Uh, well, what about, what about social justice here? Uh, doesn't particularly have anything against going to the cove. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe an exorcist? It's been ages since I've taken an exorcist out. This one is a cove adventurer. Does extra damage to Eldritch. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's uh, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try with with one of these uh, exorcists. Maybe with Modit because Cove Adventurer is nice. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's run with uh, Modit here. And we will need someone in the final spot who is healing. Do any of you have strong feelings about your healing? Uh, let's see. You would if you didn't have both scientific and pious. So uh, maybe this is plus 25, this is minus 20. You actually have plus 5%. So that actually means that you would, you, despite being scientific, you would still prefer a Vestal, which is hilarious to me. Okay, uh... One of these level four Vestals particularly have strong feelings about the, the cove. Uh, let's see... Um, I mean, you know what, let's, let's take Bynard. 
As, as a natural, we won't have to put any trinkets on her. Okay. Bynard probably won't need it. Yeah, Bynard, Bynard is excellent, but I think everybody else is going to need a little massaging. Okay, before we scroll too far away from the Vestals... Okay, yeah, you, you have the correct thing. Okay. All right. Scrolling, 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 eternally scrolling. Why do I have a roster so big? Oh, right, because I have mods to make it bigger. Oh, you're full. All right, you're fine. You are not fine. You know, maybe I should have read the skills before I raised them. Uh, but let's see. Mark target. Yeah, it's bypass stealth. Yeah, so clears horror. Bypass stealth. Okay. All right. All right. Those those skills are fine. Let's take you over to the blacksmith. It's a long mission, so let's make sure you have the best armor you can. Speaking of which, uh... Musily? Mus Musident. Okay, you, you have full armor. And you have level 4 skills. Okay, you're, you're fine. It was just Baron who needed some help. Okay. Make sure we're on the correct mission. It would be bad to take a cove team into the Warrens. All right, trinkets. None for the Vestal. For she prefers to be unencumbered by vestments. All right, let's see. Debuff skill chance. Uh, that's a lot of... Ooh, that takes away a lot of bleed resistance there. Uh, dodge at the cost of speed. Stress and stress heal received. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's just give you the dodge bracelet and hope for the best. All right, Exorcist, what do we got for you? Plus 10 accuracy if in position 2. Plus 8 crit if in position 2. Extra HP healed if in, if in 3. Extra dodge in position... 20% uh, stress versus unholy. Interesting. Uh, better stress skills, better protection, more stress. Dodge at the cost of damage. Less stress at the cost of speed. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know that taking on extra stress on a long mission is really the best idea. Even though that 15% protection is nice. Uh, I'm definitely not costing myself damage. All right, we're taking we're taking an extra hat just in case the hat gets damaged. And you. Uh where where is the leper's stuff? It's near the top, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Oh. Oh, I only have the berserk mast. Very unfortunate. Uh okay, let's let's scroll down and see if I have anything for I just realized I'm taking this whole party and nobody has armor piercing or blighting skills. This is going to be really interesting. But uh can we can we find Oh, if anybody could mark. Oh well. Uh healing skills. 
crit and damage versus on melee skills, but more stress. Uh, oh, that's that's pretty much for the co for the farm. Uh, disease and uh, the torch is low. Uh, that's the thing about the shrieker charms is that they they're all for if you're a person who runs with the torch low all the time, whereas. I run with the torch high. Oh, here we go. This is extra stress. It's a lot of extra stress, but it allows him to do blight and have, well, have blight resist, which might not be so much of an issue, but to be, to do blight with his hits sounds, yeah, okay. Our leper is going to crack up before the end of this dungeon, probably, but uh, this Ashra's head here sounds like it will be the perfect thing for a party that doesn't have any blight. Okay. We're going in. Embark. Take all the food, take all the shovels. Um, we probably don't need as many of these. There's very little blight in the cove, so I'm just gonna take like six. I'm gonna take all the bandages and medicine though. Oh wait, I'm gonna leave a medicine behind so that I don't have two stacks of it. We'll take some holy water. Take some laudanum. And a whole bunch of torches. Probably more torches than I need. I don't know. I don't do long missions enough to know like the metrics on how many torches you need. This is probably more than enough though. Probably. Alright. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I need to double check check my exorcist skills. I think I might still have him set for slot three. Uh, you. Let's see here. Yeah, you you don't get a word of power anymore. You can't use it where you are. We're going to pull up a Chastise instead. Fade Retro, absolutely. Perdition. Oh, that does mark, okay. Benediction. Uh. Hmm. Stress Heal or Core? Uh Oh man, it's it's so difficult. Uh You know what? We're we're going to take benediction. Uh simply for the horror heal. Just in case we need it. I don't know that we have the best hit for the back line, so all right, let's have a look at this dungeon. Interesting. Um, I have to admit I'm not entirely thrilled by the shape of this. It would be so much better if there were a corridor between those two rooms in the upper corner. Uh, all right, well, the upper arm appears to be the shorter one, question mark, so I guess I'll do it first. And we'll find out just how well this party works together pretty much immediately. Oh great, a thrall and a jellyfish? Oh game, you love me. Uh... 
Can I stun the jellyfish? Maybe, no. Oh, man, there's so much stun resist. Okay, fine, you. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, uh, well, let's chastise the thrall. Dang! Okay. Well, I really don't want the thrall sticking around. So... Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Hit that jelly. Oh, a very palpable hit. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Um, well, I can't really stun it again, so let's just show it the book. Ouch. Benedict him? Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Okay. It's a reasonably promising start. This this light is fine. This light is fine. Apparently this light is more than fine. Okay. Okay, so there is a trap. And I forgot to check if anybody was any good at traps. 60, 60, 70, 70. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Take the torch. Turn up the lights. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Way oh. Okay, um, I choose to turn up the lights even more. Let's see, you have very little stun resist. That's, that's good. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Uh, let's see. Hmm. If I... If I evade this guy, this should bring... Yeah! Okay... Hmm... Let's just side shock him. <gasps> oh dang! Okay. All right, revision. Duran has no chill. All right, let's start chipping away at the big guy. Ow, that stings. Stop that. Uh, hmm. We will hit the big guy a lot, multiple times. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I'm gonna have to demand that you guys stop that. 
Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Uh, you know what? You use your healing hands on yourself. There you go. Excuse you. I am going to have to demand that you guys stop that. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Are you kidding me? Oh. Throw the book at him! Uh... Hmm... Not really much that I can do. No, that, that, uh, that nerfs damage. Okay. As the thing falls, a faint hope blossoms. Well, we did get some extra food out of that, so... Doop -da doop -da doop doop. And... Of course it is! Why wouldn't it be? Okay, that that was not fun. Also, could could you let me zoom in, please? Okay, not quite as lucky on this long mission as the previous long mission, but oh, very unlucky, extremely unlucky, in fact. Well, at least she's not stunned. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Uh, let's see how to deal with this. Uh, could debuff the the ghoul. Uh, yeah, I might as well debuff the ghoul, I guess. Uh, to perdition with you! bad. Um, well, okay, uh, Eradicated. disgusting. Okay, uh, healing for you. Uh, Very not appreciated, ghoul. Uh, can the torch go up much further? It can. All right. Uh, to perdition with you. The light, the promise of safety. Oh, why wouldn't it dodge? Darn it. Oh, great! She got smallpox. And stunned. Get out of my sight. The horror. 
And that's why I wanted the horror cures. Um, let's hew some corpses and get them out of the way. Uh, didn't you have a horror heal? Oh, yeah, at the cost of, of nerfing the damage. Well, it's not like you're doing damage anyway, so let's peel the horror off of you. Healing. I, I really wish that he'd stop throwing those skulls at my Vestal. Uh, yeah, let's let's just throw the book at him. Okay, okay. Oh, nice. I will work with it. I mean, she does do more damage if she's a bit stressed, so... Okay, uh... Rub it with herb. Get Nami prizes. Uh... I'd rather have rubies than statues. And with that extra food, you have a manja. You have a manja. What does your disease do anyway? Oh, it reduces your max HP. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. And less death blow resist. Oh boy, we're gonna have to be very careful of you. At least this was an empty room, but now we don't have a scout. I see danger on the horizon. Okay. Oh, but I do see a coral. Okay, uh, coral is good. Coral is excellent. Coral is, what was that? Uh, yeah, purge a negative quirk. Who has a lot of negatives? Uh, well, your fear of mankind is pretty bad, but uh, you have a lot, and it's all locked in, and most of it's locked in, you poor thing. All right, you... Oh, they're all locked. I mean... Hmm... I mean, you're... you're you're fine. Uh, mm. I mean, he has the most negatives, but she, hers are all locked in, so I'm actually going to give her the, the benefit. No longer winded, still scientific. I was hoping it would take the scientific, but no. All right. Another empty room, I like it. Two empty rooms. Oh, that's excellent. I'm just going to ignore those for the moment. Man, I do I do not have a very good Wow. 
walking them through the dark now. go. Okay, back the way we came. Going to ignore the barnacle chest. Oh, it's, it's getting all grunty and nasty in here now. feed everybody. Rub the fish with herbs. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the Oh, choices, choices, decisions. Okay, definitely the money. The first money I've gotten in this dungeon. And yeah, onyx instead of citrines, definitely. Oh, it's it's getting very threatening sounding in here. Man, I wish I could use the coral more than once. Oh well. Continuing onward. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Tenebrous. That's great. Oh. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh, I am glad I brought the torchlight up. I am very glad I brought the torchlight up. Oh my. Uh, let's see here. 70, 70, 70. Well, which one do I want to be touched by the least? You. Oh, hey. Light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. We want to clear you out of here before you go and explode on us, so we're just going to throw everything at the thrall. There we go. And I consider the ghoul more of a problem than the snail, so it's the next target. She caught something again. She she caught another thing. It's it's like the jester all over again. Uh Well, might as well. Okay, uh, clear the horror off the Vestal there, if you would. Thank you. Let's just keep throwing the book at this ghoul. Ow, my intestines. Just keep hitting it. As long as you keep hitting it, it'll die. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Oh, hey. 
let's see. What do we replace to be able to take this milkmaid trinket home? Uh... I think the jade. I think the jade, actually. There we go. All right. Let's continue on and make these torches that I spent worth it. Okay, only way to go is forward. Battle right here. 87's good enough to start with, I say. <gasps> oh, it's a pinchy boy. Um. Hmm. Can I stun it? Nope. Uh. Okay, all right, that works. Pity I can't hit the... Oh, thank you for dodging that. That's a heavy, heavy attack. Um... What I got? A decisive bubbling. Ooh, that works. That works. Impressive. Okay, okay. As long as those arterial pinches continue to not land. Good, good. Well, it's done. Uh, do I have any any uh, stress heals? Uh, no, no, I no, I did not. No, I can give myself more stress, but I can't peel it off. That's that's great. Although, okay, you know what? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything that will peel the stress off of the soothsayer, so... Oh! Oh my! My exorcist is an angry, angry man. Okay, we got one of these things, which is... variable. Who has the least going on? You have the least going on. You, touch the thing. Oh. Of all the things you could have picked up, it was that. Here, now, with the Vestal right next to you. <sighs> to purgatory with the lot of you. Okay. Oh, it's another barnacle chest. Oh, 
great, a madman. Just what my, just what my, my poor little soothsayer needs. Um, stun him? Oh, thank you. Uh... Pity I can't hit him, but... Well, I can't hit him with the leper, but... You look like a juicy target anyway. Oh no! <sighs> Blasted dodgy little... Okay. I can work with this? Oh. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're okay. You're okay. I'm okay. Everybody's okay. That's not okay. All right, all right. Have a band aid. Wait, I have an idea. Two points, four hit points. Okay, not quite enough. I need to hit him again. Ow! Get out of my sight. Destroyed. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Okay. Nice. All right, I can work with that. I get the feeling that the exorcist has been identified as a problem. Uh... Hmm. Well, that one's gonna die on its own, so let's just start hitting this guy. Dang! Uh... Yeah, the exorcist has definitely been identified as a problem. I'm full up on shovels? Okay then. Okay, now this is like some sort of buff or something, I think. I'm not entirely certain. But... I think this is a good place as any to camp. Then we'll grab whatever this is, which I believe is a buff. And head out to that next fight. A spark without Let's have a nice feast. Hope. Oh, I forgot to cure your bleeding. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hallowed ground it is. 
I could have read that, but I didn't. Uh, hmm. I mean, I don't see how this could possibly be a bad thing. Okay, we need to peel the stress off of the soothsayer a bit. She's running a little higher than I would like. It's a pity, because it would be nice to bless somebody, but I did decide to give a party buff instead. So I can give two encourages out. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Encouragement for you. <laughs> How very encouraging. Breathe this, breathe this smoke and, and, uh, and read. Uh, are you, are you any more encouraging? Um, actually. Mm. Actually, let's, let's pull the stress off the Vestal. Know this one thing, survival is a state of mind. <laughs> okay. And that has freed up a slot in my inventory. Awesome. Let's have a sleep. Nobody in this group is prone to nightmares, as far as I remember. Nope, no nightmares. All right, um, touch it. Nice. You need the accuracy. You really need the accuracy. And you need a Band-Aid. I can't believe you slept all night and it still hadn't clotted. All right. Oh man, I'm glad I have full torchlight for this. Uh. I don't. I don't want to deal with the shenanigans from that. From that quarter. Beautiful. And the other one. Okay, it didn't explode yet. And now it's never going to. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, this clears stun. So if she needs a turn, she can have it. She didn't actually need the turn, but it was there if she needed it. I'm not confident at all. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, continuing on. Turning up the torch in the hope of getting a scout. No scout. How many torches do I have left? 16? Okay, we're, we're doing good. Uh, I think my best option um, without a scout would be to go over, like, obviously I have to go here, go up, across, down across and then up and that way I don't miss any rooms it's a pity because that one corridor is so short but well we'll see if I get a scout on the next room oh 
that's that's almost as good. Empty. Okay, perfect. I I will just I will just skip that room. That's what I'll do. I'll go I'll go through the short corridor. Best plan. Oh. Oh man, the torch is so low. Uh Turn up the lights. Um, let's see, actually, ow. Just keep turning up the lights, actually. Having the Exorcist and the Vestal in the party is saving me a lot on torches, actually. Okay, I can deal with the stress, but I really don't want to deal with the bleeding, so... you back there. Thank you. You gotta go. There we go. All right. Healing. Just keep tearing it apart with your mind, darling. What is this? Max HP at the cost of speed, huh? Hmm. You know what? Here. It's not much, but it's something. Okay. Continuing onwards. Go to this room. Have a nosh. And then this one is a room battle with a curio versus just a straight room battle, so I choose the curio. Let's a fortune waiting to be spent. That that is a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. I'm really stunned that I'm filled up on shovels, but Okay. Okay. Hmm. Turn up the lights. Uh Sure, let's let's just peel the stealth off a of... Not that the leper can reach it, but Uh 
cute. Just keep dodging. Especially keep dodging those arterial pinches. Alright, uh... The light's already at full, but nobody needs healing, so... Precision and power. Nice. Okay, uh... Let's see if we can bring at least one of those... Oh, we brought both of them! Nice. Perfect. Well, dang. Inspiration and improvement. That's a problem. Uh Just keep stunning them, I guess. Choices are hard. Okay. No! It's gonna be a while before the leper is useful again. Or maybe not. Okay, I can work with this. Alright, let's... Oh, thank you for dodging. Oh, the arterial pinches do so much damage. Um, can I stun you? Okay, just, just move up. And actually, you move back. Uh... Oh, good crit. Excellent. Let's see, we've got four. It's got five hit points left. All right. Okay, all right. Progress. Push on to the task's end. What does the what does the Eldritch Altar do again? What does my notes say? Uh, Eldritch Altar. Oh, purge a negative quirk. Okay, um, I'm tempted to try and peel that skeptic off of the <laughs> leper immediately. Um, hmm, yeah, actually, Musident, we're, we're gonna let you do this. And you're no longer a skeptic, excellent. That is just what I wanted. All right. Keep on keeping on, folks. That is, that is so much stuff. What is this? Extra stun chance. Not worth taking the extra hit points off the Vestal. Uh, replace the citrines with money. Where am I? There I am. Have a nosh. Okay. 
head up this way. More negative quark removal? Don't mind if I do. Uh, hmm. I, I still kind of have hopes of peeling the scientific scientific off of Baron. So uh, let's 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 give it attempt number two. Nope, there goes the weep grip. She's still skeptic. All right, let's turn up the lights. Oh, hi. Um, let me just fade you a little. Oh, that, that feels good. Uh, hmm. No, you know what? I can maybe take out the fish. I can take out the fish. Oh, my. Oh, don't do that. Alright, let's let's peel that mark off of you before the stabby guy goes. Um oh, what a pity. can be felled. They can be beaten. Okay. Well, there's at least one more battle in my future. I don't see any reason not to use the other campfire now. A moment of respite. A chance to steal oneself against the coming have a nice feast. Hallowed ground for dodge and protection if I as long as I keep the torch high. And I I mean the rallying sermon is very tempting. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's do the same as before. We'll do the rallying sermon. And then you will encourage our Vestal. Perseverance is power, remember that. And you will also encourage our Vestal, because you haven't had anything to do. Calm thyself, friend. We shall endure. And now the Vestal only has six stress. Excellent. That's good for sleeping on. Okay. Feeling good. Looking good. Being good. Empty.
beat it with a shovel. Another misfortune. And then whatever it is going on in here. Oh. Well, that's certainly something. Uh Stun? Stun. How dare you? I just got rid of all my stress. Such a terrible assault cannot be left oh. unanswered. Oh, that's mm. That's that's a big old nope. Uh Let's see if we can get this snail out of the way. Did not get the snail out of the way. Pity. All right. Heal. I wonder if I could just... Excuse you. Uh, okay, I can ignore the snail because it's going to die. So, start hitting the big guy. And my stream has gone offline. So now I'm speaking only to YouTube and hopefully I'll reconnect soon. That's a new one. This is the first time that Darkest Dungeon is disconnected. Interesting that my tablet says I've disconnected, but my Streamlabs says I'm still up, but with zero viewers. That's that's great. All right, well, I'm going to keep going and hope that it picks up again soon. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, I was trying to kill this shaman in the back. Yeah, okay. A death by inches. There. Now everything is in reach of everybody. Ow. How dare you? The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Okay, well, as long as you insist upon guarding that guy, I'm gonna be hitting you anyway. Oh, now what? Oh! Oh. You jerk. One point. Okay, well. Uh, can you do better than one point, please? Oh, you did three. Okay. Okay, the blight has got to kill it now. Not that I have a choice, apparently. Uh. Well, it's gonna die then. Okay, uh... Ooh, good time for a critical. Okay... Oh! I think the leper got angry! Alright. You know what? Let's, let's use... let's use a shovel. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. All right, up to this empty room, which I believe should finish out the quest. Oh, interesting. You still have the least going on, don't you? Yeah, 
Yeah. Congratulations, Misident. You get to touch the thing again. Germaphobe. Oh. I... Why would you do that? Okay, well... I'm apparently still offline, which is stunning. Okay, let's uh, let's take the loot back to the hamlet. Did I complete a trinket set? Huh. And uh, I wish I'd done that on stream instead of in this weird void of being offline but still going. Okay, let's see. Baron ended up being toned up. You can still hear me. You can still hear me on stream. Okay, so it says I'm offline is the thing. Um, so I'm, I'm a little confused about whether I'm offline or online right now. But yeah, we ended up being tone deaf on Baron, which uh, means that Mistral's, uh, the jesters will do less work for her. And a monk's mind, which interesting. Think did it have an ad set? Might be related. Mm, maybe hard to say. And Bynard got less stun resist. Is spiritual. Receives more healing from herself. And contracted a tapeworm. On top of all the other stuff. Oh boy. Bynard, why? of delirium are tenuously thin here. Ugh. Okay, so Talipede has prayed and recovered 86 stress. Beckham has gone on a personal vision quest to achieve enlightenment, but recovered 70 stress. Well, off goes my level 6, uh... Off he goes, and, and uh, hopefully he'll come back someday. Uh, Nemesis underwent effective disease treatment and cured wasting sickness, bulimia, and septicemia. He got cured of everything. Yay. Joel is no longer curious. Lors is no longer thin-blooded. And, uh, ooh, lots of leveling up. Leper, Exorcist, and... And Soothsayer are all level 4 now. Sweet. Okay, so... Okay, off to the sanitarium, actually, first, while I remember. Unequip all trinkets. Sort. Nice. Okay, and all the way down to my vestal. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're so far down. There you are. Bynard, who managed to catch smallpox, the worries, and a tapeworm down in that dungeon. Which one is the worst one? Might be smallpox. The worries is more stress and the tapeworm is more... Uh, I just... Um, I think smallpox is the worst, so we'll we'll start with the smallpox. Okay. And I mean, as long as I'm down here, I might as well... Let's go have a look at the stagecoach and start with the crystal people this time. Okay, so we have... We have a Vestal who would like to replace Calmet. On Guard, Beast Hater, Photomania, Fear of Mankind, Soft, Soft, oh. Nope, nope, you will not be joining us, nope. And the rest of you are not classes that I would consider for going to the farm, so sorry. Alright, what do we got in here? Do we have a Man-at-Arms or a Stargazer? We do not. I am never going to find a replacement for that stargazer and that man-at-arms that I lost, am I? 
Oh boy. Okay. That's that's just spectacular. Uh, let's let's have a look at them so that they'll stop barking. Uh, dips. Nope. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Now, even if I wanted level ones, these are not good ones. Good ones. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see there's a special mission in the ruins. Activate three corrupted altars for a town event of silence in the crypts. And a reward of what is that? Unholy Slayer's Ring. The damage. I, I'm pretty sure I already have like two of those. Let's double check. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Uh, those are still all specific class stuffs. There we are. Let's see, it's a blue, so yep, yeah, there's there's one right there. Hmm. Well, what's this? Explore 90% of rooms for a fasting seal. Minus 100% food consumed. Minus 100% HP damage inflicted when starving. Extra dodge. No stress from hunger. No stress from camping meals. Huh. All of that for five dodge and saving some food. That's that's so weird. All right, what's what's in the wield? Explore ninety percent of rooms for an eldritch slayer's ring. Hmm. And another long mission in the cove for a rescuer's berry's barrel. Extra healing skills of HP is below 20%. Extra blight and bleed cure chance. Extra stun resist. Plus 20% max HP if monk's brandy is in inventory. I just... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know that I like the sound of that. Uh... <laughs> I mean, hmm, minus eight dodge on that one. Minus, yeah, it's minus eight dodge on either of them. How many of these Eldritch Slayer rings do I have? One. I have one of each of them right now. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, going to the Weald has the chance of running into the thing from the stars, which would be more shards without having to go back to the farm. Not 100% certain that I want to run into it on a medium quest, but... I haven't been to the Weald today. I've been to the Warrens, I've been to the Ruins, I've been to the Cove, but I haven't been to the Weald. Let's go to the Weald. Let's let's go to the wield. You know, my my tablet still says that I'm offline, but my Streamlabs say that I'm online, so I'm just going to hope that I'm online. Cuz my tablet is frequently wrong about these things. Okay, who shall I take to the wield? This is not the end that I want to be starting with actually. Although do any of my lamias need leveling? Do any of you like the wield? You're an unholy hater and a Warren's tactician. Ugh, nah. My buried is gonna have to find another place. I, I like pairing the Lamia with the buried uh, because the Lamia's uh, horror clear is uh, very, very predictable. Uh, Jeruel could use some more. Uh, 
Joelle could definitely use a bit more XP. And uh, harlots are not half bad in the, in the wield, and she's not curious anymore. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's uh let's take Joelle. We could pair her with the other jester. Oh wait, um. Uh, zoophobia might be an issue in the wield. There's, it's covered in dogs. Hmm. Perhaps not. Uh, let's see. What what else do I have in the? Well, I I have this one. Not sure about having an exorcist and a harlot in the same party. And also, he is not going to take kindly to being switched back and forth by her. Hmm. No, no. Let's find, let's see if I can find something else. Oh, maybe, maybe I, uh, maybe an arbalist. This one's a Warren's adventurer, but... She will not want to be switching around with the harlot, though, that's the thing. Hmm. You know, maybe, maybe if I leave the harlot at home. Maybe, maybe if I take something other than the harlot. Let's get a variety of classes up in the stream tonight since, you know, it's my first time back in ages upon ages. Actually, I want you in the back back. Uh, what about Giscard here? Likes to be in the second slot and switch back and forth. Sure, let's let's take Giscard. And I mean, uh, we don't have a stun chance with this, but uh, why not uh, take uh, Brebeuf, the, the Corsair, even though she's a curious kleptomaniac? But then it becomes the question of who to put in the third slot. We could take Poile. Admittedly, uh, we'd be rather low on healing if we did that. Hmm. Let's let's uh, let's scroll back down. Oh, wait, wait, we have Dive. And... Hmm, Dive here is, sli is uh, set up slightly more for attacking than anything else, but that's easily fixed. take dive. Okay. Let's let's go in and uh, mess with people's skills. Because dive is going to need this. And 
and this. Uh, this. And this. Yeah, yeah. So we'll take off the nitrous oxide and we will put on the first aid. Nice. And we just have to be careful not to fling him up to the front row. Okay, moving on up. Does anybody else need adjusting? Uh, let's see here. Vitalis has full armor and full skills. And, hmm. I think actually would be better served by grabbing the mark. Yeah. Okay, and Giscard, oh, Giscard needs some assistance. Up you go. It's so nice having, you know, money to do anything I want with. Okay, uh... Hmm... Yeah, I'm I'm content. I'm content with uh, with them running around with these skills. Other ones can work, but these will be fine. And Brebuff. We'll just get you all set up. There you go. All right. To the wield. I said the wield, not the Warrens. Sheesh. All right. Trinkets. Okay. Where are the arbalist trinkets? I know I have some around here somewhere. Don't I? Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. Accuracy and crit at the cost of dodge. Extra healing. Hmm. I mean... You know what? We're, we're just gonna, we're gonna tassel Vitalis up here and, and we're gonna laugh and laugh. All right, uh, we have some toys for the dogs, don't we? Uh, improvised orthopedics guide for extra healing, more bleed duration, or less bleed duration when received, stun resist, debuff resist, move resist. Hmm, tempting. Uh, can't be guarded. Hurting tactics and follows the tracks do extra damage. Interesting. Speed and crit with bleed chance and... Plus 10% chance party is surprised. Oh, mm. uh, Disease resist, bleed cure chance at the cost of dodge. And, oh, I'm not, I'm not running with nitrous oxide, so that one's useless. First aid plus 30% at the cost of two speed. Huh. You know what? We're going to take the orthopedics guide. And Butcher, we've just got lovely, lovely things for you. 
Let's see, we've got the Honor Guard's Tassel, 20% stress skills, 4% crit versus marked, crit versus bleeding, move resist. You lose things on range skills. Uh, extra chance the monsters are surprised, extra scouting, extra speed. Yeah, that's the one I just got. You know, you you get the raid plan. You get the raid plan. And then our Corsair. What do you get? What do you get? Where is your stuff? There it is. Okay, we have bottled junk for extra dodge. More healing received when stealthed. I don't actually have those skills equipped. So... Uh, less stress of jade in inventory. Uh, and a miscreant's reward. 100% bleed amount when applied if target HP below 50%. Less bleed resistance, though. Hmm. You know, I think I can get away with this because I have the arbalist and the rescuer in the party. They both have a chance. They both cure bleed. You know what? Let's let's take the ear. We'll we'll take the ear. Okay. Let's get going. Yes, I know everybody only has one trinket. I do that on purpose. All right, food, shovels. I have no idea what I'm going to encounter in here. I'll just I'll just take it all. Uh, we'll take some holy water. Take some keys. Take some laudanum. Take a bunch of torches. This is a medium mission? Okay. That's more torches than I'm gonna need, but you know. Okay. Let's go. Paths are littered with poisonous traps. Yeah, yeah, I know. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Look at them dogs. Such good boys. Well. Well, 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 well. Okay, I'm going to actually skip past the secret room. We're going to go all the way up. Oh, you're, you're touching the thing. That's what you get when you touch the thing. All right. I'm not going to go to full darkness for this particular secret room, but I am going to let the torchlight get nice and low. There we go. It's not really low, but I don't want to spend all the torches, so... This is, this is going to have to do. Alright, shove a key in there. I will take all of them. Okay, onwards. I will I will let you guys have a bit more light so you're less stressed out. How about that? You gonna touch this thing too? No? Okay. Okay, what do we got? Interesting. Cause I, I don't like how this is all like sort of little spiky things off of places, but I'll I'll work with it. Finding the stuff Take is that.
whack it apart with a shovel. Okay, uh... I'm gonna go across to here, I think. Oh, do I have anything that peels off stealth? I don't remember. It's a great pity that no that nothing is marked right now. She can only mark ones that are in the back. Less handy. Uh... Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. All right, how about a little heal for the party as a treat? want to go back to? Disembowel may not be the right skill to have equipped at this time. Oh, hey, look at you! You're visible! okay if he gets in front of the Corsair, but it's not okay if he gets in front of the Butcher, so I'm being careful. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. The blood quickens. Okay, that works. I'm just not gonna let you touch things. If you touch things on your own, that's one thing, but if you, if you... Kleptos don't get to loot. That's what I'm saying. The light, the promise of safety. Oh goody, Ectos. Ectos and stress. I can work with that. Don't have to worry about the Ectos summoning more Ectos now. Excuse you, get off my Arbalest! Also, I don't appreciate the way you guys are eating my torchlight. than the portraits, thank you. Uh, let 
let's see. Oh, that's a negative quirk removal. Who's, who's got a nasty one? Well, besides your curiousness. Uh, hmm. I mean, none of you have any really bad ones now that I look at it. The, the main annoying one is the curiousness on our Corsair here. And the Kleptomania. Okay, you know what, Brebeuf? You are... You get to use this. No longer Mercurial. Still a, Cle it's still a curious Kleptomaniac, though. I, I am liking all the empty rooms. That's nice. Okay, eat something. Hack that to death with the shovel. Go in here. Thank you very much for the look for the follow there, lovely she. Lovelyish, lovelyish. That'll give you access to some of the cutest follower emotes on Twitch and will allow you to earn channel points just that little bit faster towards my various channel point rewards. Okay, where was I? I was here. And I am really letting it get way darker than I should be. Okay, let's let's turn up the lights. You gonna steal the map? You can't. That was that was klepto that was kleptomaniac going off, but it was just a map, so she couldn't steal it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, fascinating. I'm more interested in hallway battles than anything else, but yeah, I'm gonna go have to go backwards on myself to hit both of these hallway battles. More's the pity. Well, let's go this way. Hmm, left luggage. Eh, let's chance it. Yeah, I, I, I want the emeralds more than I want the deeds, so yeah. Yes, I am getting it, letting it get really dark. I'm, I'm getting it, letting it get a lot darker than I should. Imalto Artesian, hello, welcome. Okay, there is a fight right outside this door, so let's actually turn the torch back up. There we go. What do we got? A surprised ghoul and his sharp little friend. Okay, uh... Well, let's get working on this ghoul. Aw, oh, it resisted the stun. I'm so sad. Okay, that was a lot of dodging. I appreciate that. Mostly just wanted to see if there was a Darkest Dungeon streamer to talk about modded teen comps with. Well, uh, 
considering that I am running with a team uh, that, <laughs> that is 75% modded classes, uh, I might be the person. Uh, if you are interested, uh, the, the link um, to my list of mods can be found right where my bot has just uh, said there. Okay, all right. This ghoul's gotta go down. Size alone does not Take your horror and, and depart. Uh, blast. I've, I've ended up in the back again. Uh, okay. Party heal. The Corsair can do stuff from the third spot. The Butcher can too, but it's more difficult. Funny little French girl mod called Entrenched? Uh, that's a... Is that a mod class, or is that a, a rule change for the game? Precision and power. Okay, you, you... You can have some laudanum, okay? Is that better? Continually onslaught. Is I I'm not actually interested in adding new mod classes to this particular playthrough because I'm trying to finish with the ones that I started with. But I I will take suggestions for uh, mods to add to my my personal game. <laughs> Extremely versatile support class mod with a mark based off damage and stun basic attack. Huh. So, uh... Sounds pretty powerful. So you say that's called the entrenched, huh? I will, I will make a note of it. Okay, so where am I? Here I am. Oh, would you? You are so glad that was a backpack. Keeps touching everything. Mark based damage gets a stacking 50% damage debuff with the mark. <gasps> that is that is very strong. That is that is very strong. Maybe should have turned the torch up another notch. Oh, but there aren't any torch eaters in here, so it's okay. Uh, well, it's going to be really hard for the butcher to reach those those stupid marking people in the back. So uh, let's just take out the the let's just take out the fungus man. Excuse me. I don't know why. I have a weird dry spot that keeps coming back in the back of my throat today. Oh, I can I can work with that, even though it didn't stun. She also has a stress heal, which makes everyone get buffs for attacking marked targets. Oh. I mean, I admit that I I haven't been marking targets as much as I should. Considering that I have a butcher kicking around here. Good dodging. I appreciate the dodging. And then it goes out of my butcher's reach. I'm I'm very disappointed in everything. Oh, and now she's got rabies. Great. That's that's spectacular. Marking movement skill and marking repost. So she's basically a marking machine is what you're saying. 
Okay, I can ignore him now, right? Because he's got 11 damage of bleeding on him around and he's only got 3 HP. I can ignore him now, right? <laughs> Ignoring the items. Oh, I see. Somehow I sense that you may have come here to proselytize more than you came to talk about team composition. Oh, he didn't cure the bleed. How dare you? I did, but I like him drenched. I see, I see. Okay. I, w I was mostly teasing. I, I was mostly teasing. I think everyone should experience shovel bashing eldritch horrors. <laughs> I mean, I admit, I do not have any class that bashes things to death with a shovel. I mean, the, the Templar does get fairly close, what with the giant hammer, but... Thank you very much for the follow there! Is that Doc? Or is it Duoc? <laughs> that will give you access to all of the cutest follower emotes on Twitch and also will allow you to get channel points faster for my various channel point rewards. So, excellent choice, you. And also, on Thursdays, it is free to use the exclamation point speak command to use my text-to-speech bot. It's Duke. Okay. Okay. French. Okay, I will, I will try to remember that. <laughs> But yes, on every other day of the week that I stream, uh, you have to either be a subscriber or pay 100 bits to use the text-to-speech bot. But on Thursdays, anybody can use it. So that is also available. <laughs> oh, thank you very much! I, I appreciate your compliments. I eat them like toffee. And... Yeah, you know what? Let's let's uh, let's see if I can. Oh no, no problem. Uh, I can't. Oh, I can reach the marked one. Okay. Actual team comp be run into hilariously effective team of plague, exterminator, abomination, and hellion with crimson court trinkets. Ah, I didn't turn on crimson court for this playthrough, so I don't have access to the crimson court trinkets on this one, alas. But it also means that I don't have to deal with vampires in every single dungeon, so <laughs> I consider the trade off to be good. I do have the farm turned on, but not the crimson court. Uh, where where am I? What am I doing? Uh, I'm healing the party. Oh wait, I'm not healing the party. I'm just healing him. Okay, fine. All right, that's that's great. Die. I mean, the Crimson Court trinkets are very strong and uh, quite respectable, but I find that the Crimson Court itself just slows down the game incredibly, and it's just not as fun. It's just, you know, having, having to, like, grind for blood and grind for blood and grind for blood while you try to get a team high enough to be able to challenge the various bosses, it's just... I find it just really slows things down to a crawl, and I really don't like it for streaming. It's already a slow enough game for streaming. Obliterated. I have an entire class just to deal with Crimson Court. Uh, would that be the Hierophant? Because I actually do have uh, Hierophants in this one, because I like their damage versus humans. Eugen, actually. Uh, I think I might have looked at that one when I was picking mods for this one, but I don't remember why I didn't go with it. Uh, 
Uh, hilariously overpowered build-up base class from a library of Rena. Okay. Uh, you know what? Look, she has a healing skill. It's a Kaze mod, which may be why. Oh. I see. Uh, the Kaze mods are the ones that are associated with that yokai island, aren't they? Oh, man. Uh, what do I switch for money? No? Oh, Sun Sunward Isles is different. Okay, so... I, I do admit there's a lot of people who make mods for Darkest Dungeon. I may have gotten them mixed up. Kaze just makes rather blatant anime-based mods. Ah, I see. I didn't actually take any of the anime-based mods because I tried to pick ones that sort of went with the art style of the existing game. Uh, I, I picked mods like for various reasons, and that was like part of part of it was the look. <laughs> As I I wanted all the classes to look like they belonged in the game. Like you look at it right now, and you can't actually tell just by looking at them which of these classes actually came from the base uh, game, and which ones are the the mod ones. Eugen is probably the closest, but they still don't do the blacked out eyes. Ah. Uh. Okay, now you are not allowed to loot anything. Uh, you. You haven't gotten to do much. Rescuer stands out a little. Well, yeah, the dogs. I could not pass up the dogs. I, I have a thing for dogs. Oh, man, it's... How did that use up two keys? I did have two keys, didn't I? That's so weird. Well, whatever. Uh, I choose busts? I don't know. I don't think anyone can. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Now, you are a little low on hit points, so I'm going to actually cure you. You're welcome. Ah, uh, what do I got here? I I probably should not have come up this way. Mention Eugene mostly comes close to the source material being a close tone to Darkest Dungeon rather than a uh, Kaze doing anything. What a diplomatic way of phrasing it. <laughs> okay, yeah, y'all get a nosh. Ooh, a troubling effigy. Hmm. Do I actually want to mess around with that one? Do I? Hmm. Random positive quirk. Oh, okay. Who who is low on positives? Um, definitely not Giscard. <laughs> and you're full up too. Okay, you have three, which aren't bad. And you also have three. I... I don't know. I, I'm gonna give it to you in the hopes that it makes it worth having a curious kleptomaniac, okay? The entire, entire character concept. It's a flag, but with katanas and suicide attacks, which got made into a class with builds up crit over time. Ah. And I just, I was reading your thing, so I missed what we got. Oh, Eldritch Hater. Excellent. Oh, that does make it worth having a curious kleptomaniac. My goodness. 
Oh, Elder Chater is a good one. Elder Chater is an excellent one. Okay. You know what? I'm going to camp here. We're going to camp. We're going to have a nice nosh. Relieve some stress. Realize I didn't check if anybody had a nighttime ambush stopping skill before we left. Um. <laughs> um. Hmm. Well, we're boned. This this is uh this is going to be a whole thing. I forgot to check to see if anybody had a a skill that would stop nighttime ambush. Oh, what have I done? Hmm. Well, this this is going to be a thing. Uh Hmm. Remove accuracy for blight resist. I don't think that's really worth it to me right now. Uh what what else have we got? Heal HP. Um yeah, let's restring the crossbow. Uh, what do we got? Armor piercing, bleed chance, death blow resist. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's a region where having eldritch quirks is bad. That is, that, yeah, every region has eldritch monsters in it. So being an eldritch hater is really strong. I'm probably going to go and lock that one in once we get out of here. Assuming everyone survives. Uh, so far tonight, I have been lucky, as you can tell by my death counter down in the lower left. But uh, in this game, luck never lasts forever. Surprise Twilight Knight isn't here? Uh, it may not have been released when I started playing this one. Hmm. Could search for more herbs, but we don't really need more herbs. Um. Hmm. I I feel really foolish for having forgotten to check for nighttime ambush skills. So it's kind of a scouting chance. One companion gets accuracy. One of the most fitting class mods I've ever seen. Does everyone here even have them? I don't, I do not know. Uh, okay, you know what? We're gonna go with no quarter and hopefully I'll remember to mark things. Maybe. All right, let's sleep and hope we don't get ambushed. Please don't ambush me. Please don't ambush me. Um, 14 food is not well stocked, but thanks. Yep, I got ambushed. Oh, oh, that's so lucky. It's only dogs. That is really unlucky. That is, that is super unlucky. Um... I can work with this. Yes, yes, I can work with this. Whoop. Okay. Almost, almost. There we go. We're back in order. <laughs>
We, we've we've done it, folks. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay. Somehow, somehow we managed it. You, sir, have a band-aid. Have some food. <laughs> All right. All right, let's take our sorry carcasses over here. Oh, wait, that that could be more food. That can become more food. Okay. Yes. More food and more band-aids. Excellent. Okay. That means that I can actually afford to give you one and give you one. There we go. Everybody feeling better? Oh, okay. Uh, all right, let's see. 80, 90, 60, 60. Congratulations, Giscard. Do your best. Your best was very good. Oh, great! A ghoul and a druid! That's spectacular! Alright, uh... Well, since I don't have anybody who can peel stealth, tried out the Commandant with an incomprehensible battle plan yet? I don't think I have that item yet, but I do have the Commandant and I do rather like it. But I don't think I have that particular trinket yet. Choices, decisions. Uh. Oh, a crit to start. I like it. What are you wanting me to embrace? That brings her into reach. Oh, marking. You you like marks, huh? You like marks, do you? I can work with that. All right. Oh, so close and yet so far. Get out of here, lady. Gross. Uh, Ow. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Heal. Inspiration and improvement. Uh Light and that much HP off. That's just so spectacular. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Oh, Lord. Well, at least he's back where he's supposed to be. Oh, man. Um... Okay, he's properly in reach and he's marked. Slice and dice! Nice crit! Alright, uh, healer, heal thyself. Try, it's a jeweler one. Hmm. Uh... That 
thing is going to bleed to death, so... Uh, mm, you, you are in, worse, in the worst straits, I think. Oh man, that that was awful. That was that was really awful. I choose the emeralds over the busts. Thank you. Oh. Okay then. Hmm. Well, I'm still going to go down and find out if that's the the thing from the stars. But, uh, you have a bit of food, and you have a bit of food, and you have some food, and you have some food. <laughs> That was a nasty fight. If I'd real, if I, if I know, if I'd counted properly and known that that was going to be the last one, I would have gone to the empty room instead of the battle room. The way is lit. The path is clear. Uh. Hmm. Nah. It's not the thing. I'm so disappointed. Oh, just for that, you're the first one getting marked. Okay. Party gets a little... Alright. Thank you very much for the follow there, Immortal Alertzen. It is much appreciated. Uh, let's see. We got 8 damage on 5 HP. You're... You're you're dead. Let's start working on you. Ugh. Stop that, you asshole. Come up here where I can reach you. Oh, that's unfortunate. Slowly, gently. This is uh, can the butcher move himself up from there? Not really, but uh Let's just take a moment. Can we ask what you think of Falconer? Oh, I do like the Falconer. I constantly forget to switch over her skills, but uh, the the versatility is really nice that you can have six skills by only having three plus the changer. I rather like that. Uh, hmm. So the, the Falconer does, uh, I, I like working with the Falconer, as I'd, I'd already uh, brought out a Falconer today, uh, which is why I have the Arbalist with me rather than the Falconer, because I'm trying to not repeat classes through my run through, because it's been a while since the last time I played Darkest Dungeon, so I wanted to give more of a multiple flavors sort of thing. Charge! That was a good charge, with the Talon Bandits harassing my runs. Now, see, 
They, I like the Talon bandits better than I like the vampires. Because not only do they not infect my people, but they also, the, the, the reward that you get for killing them is nice and juicy. So I prefer the Talon bandits to the vampires every day. Hmm, is it worth it to walk all the way over to the other corner to find out if that particular fight is the thing from the stars? I don't think it is. Uh, I've got one more battle of the buffs, but my herbalist is going to crack soon. Mm. Well, how, how much is this? Ugh. Okay, we'll, we'll give her a laudanum and we'll take her rabid butt over to that wall, to that battle and uh, hope that it's not too bad. See, if I had to choose, and I did choose, I, I prefer the Talon bandits to the, to the, over the vampires. <laughs> I feel they're much more rewarding than the vampires. <laughs> if that hallway battle isn't the thing from the stars, I'm going to be very sad. More or less not rewarding. I, I guess. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a difference of opinion, I, I suppose. Oh, now you go off. Okay. And look at that. You caught tetanus from the corpse. Don't like the Talon Bandits fighting more or less not rewarding compared to the vampires? Ugh. I mean, the vampires, your reward is vampirism and maybe a vial or two of blood. Which isn't going to be worth as much as all the vampirism that you caught from them. So... I, I just don't like the grindiness that Crimson Court adds to the game, so I have nothing good to say about the vampires in this game. The trinkets are not worth it. Oh, that is not the thing from the stars. I am very sad. Alright, turning up the lights. This guy's gotta go. Okay, that guy's gone. Uh, let's... Let's disembowel this one. There's method in this madness, I swear. Because now the marked one is in the second spot. Good dodging, good dodging. Okay, you, you don't- this does not take advantage of, of marked targets, so we're just gonna go for this one. Oh, I- oh, that one's dead now. That one's so dead, too. Oh boy, I love this. Go, dogs, go! These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can Currently have a stockpile of nearly 90 blood. Oh, that, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of blood. That is a lot more blood than I have in my one playthrough that I'm running Crimson Court in. Okay, I am not going to bother to find out if the thing from the stars is lurking in that two-spot hallway up there. I'm just going to leave. It's time to go. Every cleared path and charmed route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. Oh, you say that now, Ancestor, but you're the one who caused the problem. We're isolated because of you. Okay, oh boy. Lots of stress, lots of disease. 
All right, Brebeuf, you have developed imposter syndrome. Great, we'll add that to the curiosity and the kleptomania. Uh, Dive has become a tippler, spectacular. And Vitalis has developed a fear of unholy and, a, and has become a Warren's tactician. As soon as it's built, you more or less never need to worry about blood runs. Huh. Well, I, I will add that to the list of things to look into. Sanguine Vintner. Okay. Did you never check the districts menu? Oh, that, that particular playthrough is uh, fairly early in. I can't guarantee that I scrolled all the way through the, the darn thing. I, I oh, don't really have blueprints. So well regarded. Is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Okay, Barnard underwent effective disease treatment and no longer has smallpox, the worries, or a tapeworm. Fekamp has returned from their vision quest in only one week. I'm impressed. And Vitalis has leveled up to four. Oh, we're finally starting to get the roster up into the mid-levels. I'm, I'm trying to get my roster into level five and six so that I can go and challenge the end game. Uh, the, so I can go and start challenging the final bosses so I can have their trinkets for going into the darkest dungeon itself. So uh, it's a lot of it's a lot of dungeon runs right now. Okay, before I forget, let's unequip all trinkets and sort. Thank you. There we go. All right. Now to the sanitarium with a bunch of you. Braybuff, Braybuff. I I refuse to deal with both a curious klept and kleptomaniac. This whole imposter syndrome is going to have to wait, but Klepto's got to go. I'm okay with you touching things as long as you don't steal them. You will be a better person eventually, and I forgot to lock your Eldritch thing. Okay, well, uh, that's, that's great. Uh, yes, I built the bank very early on, and I have uh, been fairly lucky since then. <laughs> Okay, uh, Giscard, you are the one who managed to not catch anything. Well done, you. Vitalis, you got rabies, which can be fun, but I hate the accuracy debuff. So you are getting your rabies cured. But yeah, the, the first district building that I built was the goal, was the bank, so. What's my Endless Harvest high score? Oh, terribly low. I've, I've not had very much luck with that. Uh, just let me finish uh, shoving people into the sanitarium and I can actually go show you. Ah yes, dive. You and your tetanus. Not so bad on... Not so bad but uh, definitely something I don't want sticking around. So, tetanus be gone. Okay, and... Well, I'll just toss the butcher out of here. Uh, my farmstead total is very low. I have reaped 44 foes. <laughs> it's not good. So I, I haven't had a lot of luck with that one. I just, I start out well. I, I can do the first third fairly well, but um, then usually some, like I get a run of bad luck and things just go terribly downhill. 489, excellent. Well done. Okay, and check the stagecoach. Do we have a man-at-arms or a stargazer in here? We do not. We do have a level 3 flagellant, but do I need another flagellant? Probably start reaching the thousands with enough time. But who has that kind of time? 
Let's see here. Ruins Adventurer, not very good for Flagellant. Eagle Eye, Hippocratic, Unholy Slayer. Uh, Dipsomania, Bland, and the Yips. I, I love how the Yips is both a disease and a negative quirk. It's, it's just great. <sighs> okay, this, this is not a very good flagellant. So I don't have to add a fourth flagellant to the, the roster, thank goodness. Still trying to find a replacement for my poor lost men, but... But we did make some good progress tonight. I think, I think I've got very few level 3s left. I am going to have to take the Buried out at some point. Going to have to find her a nice quest and somebody who can, you know, clear horror. I, I love the damage of the Buried. But man, keeping her from cracking up is so difficult. <sighs> well... In any case, it is past midnight on the East Coast, which is basically where I am. Well, at least I'm in the Eastern Time Zone. So this is actually where I'm going to be calling in a night for Darkest Dungeon this week. Uh, made lots of progress, did lots of dungeons, did two long dungeons, which normally I do zero. And I didn't lose anybody. Nobody's dead. Yay! So, Try Not to Die Thursday has been a success this week. Waha! And for anyone uh, who is interested in my previous plays of Darkest Dungeon, they were a very, they were quite some time ago, many months ago, uh, was the last time I played. So they're definitely not on Twitch anymore, but they're all on my YouTube channel, which I've just had my bot link to. There is a playlist there, so it's easy to find the Darkest Dungeon. You don't have to go digging through everything else. Or you can go digging through the playlists in case there's another game that you're interested in. There's a playlist there for any game that I have played twice or more. So uh, there's hours upon hours of keep yourself busy in there. And I will be back streaming again on Sunday night starting at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be playing Baldur's Gate 2 and I will be working my way on trying to get out of Waterdeep again so I can actually do some quests. Except that every time I think I'm, oh, I'm going to leave Waterdeep, nope, something else is like, oh no, you gotta do this one more thing in Waterdeep before you can leave. So uh, we'll see if I actually manage to make it out of Waterdeep this upcoming Sunday. That's my main goal, is to actually make it out of Waterdeep so I can do a bunch of the quests that I got for outside of Waterdeep. Because I need to do so many quests. I need to raise a lot of capital. I need a lot of money. So much money. So I can rescue my friend from the people who kidnapped her. At least from my point of view, they kidnapped her. They say they arrested her, but I know they're wrong. So, you know. <laughs> and then I will be back again on Monday night, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I will be playing Two Point Campus for Management Monday. I will be continuing to uh, try to three-star the campus that I left off on the last time that I played Two Point Campus. Uh, and... Uh, I, I was fairly close when I had to go on that last stream, so it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. Cross fingers, knock on wood. And uh, then I'll be able to move on to another university and a no whole other set of problems. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and then I will be back again on Wednesday night at as close to 7 p.m. as we can get enough people together to form a room. I'll be playing either Among Us or Scribble It, or hopefully both, with my friends. Among Us needs no introduction at this point, but Scribble It is less well known. It's kind of a Pictionary style game where one person draws and everybody else tries to guess what the heck that person is trying to draw. And it gets pretty funny in our group because not only do we try to shoehorn in uh, inside references and memes and anime where it really does not belong, but also none of us can spell. So uh, we get pretty giddy and uh, laughing at each other and having a hilarious time by the time we get a couple of rounds into the game. So it's definitely something to tune in for. And then somewhere around 10.15 or 10.20 or so when my friends have to leave and go to bed because they need to be up in the morning for their jobs, I switch over to my solo Valheim server where I crash around and try to do my best. This past Wednesday, I finally found a swamp dungeon, which I have been looking for for many, many moons. 
I have been exploring swamps for so long, trying to find crypts, and I finally found one, and I will be continuing to work on cleaning out that crypt this upcoming Wednesday. Uh, I got it, I'd say, maybe about half done uh, before I, ha before I uh, ended the stream, because my, my pick had died, and it was... Well, my, my pick needed to be repaired, so I, you know, left the... I had to go and, and uh, repair my pick and come back with it repaired. And I decided that it was a good enough place to end the stream. So I will be continuing to mine the, this uh, swamp dungeon for iron on this upcoming Wednesday. And then, next Thursday night, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, I shall return to Darkest Dungeon and the Foxwine Estate for Try Not to Die Thursday. And I'm going to continue to try not to get anybody killed. <laughs> so that's going to be an interesting challenge that I've set myself, and it will be continuing to bring my uh, party, p uh, my, my heroes up from uh, being my all of my level threes and fours need to make it to five. If I can get them all to five, then I can combine my fives and sixes and start going after the final iterations of the various area bosses so I can have their juicy, juicy trinkets. So that is the plan. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the schedule for my upcoming week. All of the games that I'm going to be playing and what I plan to do in those games as much as I can plan. Because a lot of these games either I'm playing unspoiled or like to throw RNG at me. So it's uh, really difficult to plan sometimes. But in any case, a plan or no, I still manage to have quite a bit of fun. And I did have fun tonight. And I hope that all of you had at least as much fun as I did. And I hope that you all have a great night and a great weekend. Good night.